from BugEyeGuy.com. Here's Zoya, just about ready to take off and head south to a new home. All rebuilt, just about a hundred different improvements to this car. You can see the new k and air filters and the master cylinder, just about, man, I did, the list goes on and on. You probably saw in the other video a pile of parts that went into this car. We got the new chrome wire wheels down there and new tires, a little bit wider. The engine was out, a new rib case transmission. We've got a bunch of nice cockpit improvements, uh, three-point seat belts with matching Austin Healey logos and a new wood steering wheel, uh, cigarette lighter for accessories, a new short tonneau, and on and on. But what I really want to show you in this short video is the heads. The This is a duplicate head to the one that's on Zoya. The new owner wanted to have uh, hardened valve seats so that he could run unleaded gas without issue and here's the head that was on the car when we got it and this is a, a duplicate of the one that's now on the car and what I wanted to show you is these are the larger intake valves and see if you can just eyeball the difference you can see you should be able to see that these exhaust and intake valves are almost the same size and here you'll see this is a quite a bit larger intake valve which allows obviously the engine to breathe in a lot more fuel and air the other thing that's kind of neat is that these heads, these 948 heads, heads are traditionally, the valves are very shrouded here, and you'll see on this head, it's much lower. This point is probably about that much lower. So again, you have better flow, and then there's also a much narrower gap here because this area is relieved on these heads. This is a, oh, I can't remember the number, let's see. It's a 202 head uh, from a 1098 engine probably, so we have uh, bigger valves, bigger combustion chamber. That effectively lowers the compression ratio, then the head is planed down and brings the compression ratio back up. But you can really see that with air and uh, fuel flowing in and out of here, you have a much bigger a bigger capacity to burn more gas and fuel and uh, gas and air and also produce more power. So that's what's going on here at BugEyeGuy.com. Zoya is ready for a new home. Next we'll move on to this new English white paint job. This is our car that's going to be heading to California. The father and son will be driving this out west once we rebuild the interior and the trim and, and deal with the power plant and get that one ready as well. That's what we're up to today from BugEyeGuy.com.